Yes, uh, police, please. Yes, um, I'll get me car fixed at Ken Dingle's garage. I, uh, hear he's a suspect in Joe Tate's disappearance. Well, I, uh, I saw a watch. It was, it was covered in blood. He tried to hide in. It. it got a bit nasty. No, no, I don't leave a name. He's, he's dangerous. You need to have a word with your staff. Anyone can walk in. This is what you call keeping your distance. I just had the police turn over my garage. Tip off, they said. Something to do with Joe. Huh. Did they, um, find anything? Wouldn't I be here if they had? Well, that's good, then. Well, it was. I want to find this hidden away. Now, this had better be good. Reckon I best get rid of this, eh? I needed to protect myself. From the police? See, I reckon they're the least of your worries right now. I disagree. They know we're connected. All they're lacking is evidence. Also, you thought you'd plant some. You know, for all your posh suits and your bill cream, you're pretty thick, aren't you? You brought them to my door. And if the police would have found this, do you not think I'd have mentioned your name? It's still your word against mine. I've covered my back. You've seen them. They're desperate to pin this on you. You know... I don't think you realise what a big mistake you've made. Mistake suggests unintentional. I need to draw a line under this. And you're the one that's killed a man. What makes you think he won't do it again? Hmm. Idle threat. Oh, no. This is different. Nobody has ever pushed me this far. You see, Joe was a mistake. But I would actually enjoy burying you. One more foot wrong. You next. <laughs>